just on the storm still, do you think that their salary cap, does their top four strategy work? They invest heavily. I know they were missing Ryan Pappenhausen and, and a fit Ryan Pappenhausen changes the complexion of that game, but do you think their one six seven nine heavy investment sets them back with depth in other areas in that lineup? You know, you can't be too critical of the Storm because they finished top four. Mm. And they finished top four with basically without playing with Pappenhausen for the season. But when you put them up against the Panthers and the Broncos, they're not in the same league at the moment. Mm. They haven't got the depth in the forward, losing the Kafusi and, and the Bromwich brothers. And, and, and their, their middle forwards, aside from it's Nelson, haven't got the punch that mm. those two other teams and, and, and their centres is a big problem. And, and no, their salary cap has been out of shape. Because they're relying on the key stars who aren't getting on the front foot because their pack is getting monstered. Yep. Mm. And yeah, that's the that's the problem for Bellamy. I don't know, he's so good he'll he'll find a way to fix it, but he's he has to find fresh talent to come into that side because at the moment their talent, aside from those four players, just doesn't rate well, look at the Broncos and the Panthers. It's not in the same league. Mm. No. And, and for Timmy, you've done some work uh, looking at the Panth- uh, sorry, at the Storms yep. pathways and that yep. before. They've they've got Fleg coming in. Um Fleg, oh, uh, Fleg's in um, at the moment, isn't it? Uh, uh, Harold, Harold Matz and coming New South Wales in. Cup there. Um, which I think will be really beneficial beneficial to them in growing their pathway so um because if they are going to be so top heavy in their salary cap with the spine then they're going to have to develop players outside of those four guys that can help them maintain that success and um you know i have spoken to frank panisi a lot about this and um they're confident in their in their big four strategy i guess but um and now craig's been quite open about the fact that losing you know, uh, Brandon Smith, um, the, one, yeah. the Bromwich brothers, Kafusi, probably left them with a bigger hole than that than they anticipated, and they just haven't been able to make up ground. Um, there is one kid that they've got there. His name is um, Jerry Musu, young forward Victorian. They've got a lot of hopes for him, but he is only young. You know, so it's still a couple of years before they see mm. the fruits of of that pathway. So, um, and I know that they are looking to recruit um in the forward pack but again it's about you know they're going to have to really really lean on that money ball approach where finding you know a value for money buy because so much of their um salary cap is tied up in the spine yeah well you saw at the weekend missing pappenhausen missing xavier coates it's Mm. basically 1.2 million of your salary cap gone and that's going to make it tough for anyone to come try and beat a team like penrith but as crawl said i think they're just that rung below and you know they finished top four which is a great achievement Parramatta went from grand final to yeah back door out the back door didn't make yep. the eight having lost similar type of talent the storm to finish top four is amazing but they you've just you're now trying to get up to that yeah. extra that premiership level, level. Mm, yeah you know yep. the broncos seem to have got to at the moment um they've got so much talent though the broncos made haven't they like you know Cobo and and like you said herbie farmworth and stags and ezra man like it's just this unbelievable nursery mm. of talent, which, you know, then you, you, without mentioning names and pointing out individuals, the Storm haven't got that level of talent at their disposal and they've no. got to go and find it. Maybe mm. they've got to give mm. some of these young kids opportunity like mm. that. Yeah. Um, they, was the, the, yeah. Fa'alogo and... Fa'alogo, yeah. And they don't have the same people. strike. Yeah, they don't have the same sort of strike that, you know, Penrith and, and the Broncos have the at athlete. the moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. And and they've got their pathways with uh, Sunshine Coast Falcons yeah. and then from next season, North Sydney Bears. Jeez, a year ago, mm. Jacob Preston was playing reserve grade mm. for North Sydney Bears. So in yep. a different world, you know, there might be another one of him through there. So that yep. may help a little bit as well. And obviously, they're targeting the, the Pacific Islander population down there yep. in Victoria as yep. rugby league types to try and come through and build that. So it's the challenge, but, you know, for a team that's made... How many preliminary finals? Fifteen yeah. preliminary finals, yeah. it's, and um, yeah. it's it's a I, remarkable achievement. But at the moment, they were I think we sort of saw at the weekend where they were mm. in regards to the the better teams. Yeah, I think it's it's more of how long, how much of a regression are they mm. going to experience 
um, until they can really bear the fruits of everything they're doing in the pathway. So like knowing Craig Bellamy, you know, he did lose four forwards, but they still finished top four. So maybe there is no regression, but the the next step that they need to take to become a genuine premiership force, force again, um, that really might depend on how well they're able to develop some of the good kids they've got coming through. And let's face it, Munster didn't have a good final series. And, no. and Harry Grant's playing erratic, you know, like... You, you talk about the hookers of the year. He's nowhere near it. Mm. I don't believe so. Like he's, and we all know he's the best hooker in the game, but he hasn't been playing that way. And I, I do question playing Harry off the bench. I think it sends him into the game where he feels like he needs to do something in a split second. Looks like and he's, he's trying to too hard. Do, yeah, yeah, too, too hard, hard to make yeah. that. Match turning play at the very first yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah. Was, and he, he's not settling point. into a game and, and you know just waiting and to pounce on his moments. It's it's they play erratic. Yeah. And and he leads the charge. Mm.